There are a lot of techniques that I don't use every day, but when I do use them, I'm fascinated by them. And one of them I wanted to just, you know, go over briefly is this technique of kind of laying down layers of slip and then carving back through them. Conceptually, it's not difficult at all. Visually, it can give you some really exciting dynamic results. So I'm just going to go through it quickly so that you can you know, know the basics of how to do it and then experiment with it on your own and have great results. Um, to start with, you just start, I start with a piece of white, white clay, rolled out white slab of clay. Now as I paint this on, I should mention, you don't have to use slips to do this. I do because I have them available and they're ready to go. I could roll out several thin slabs of clay and laminate those together and it would be essentially the same process and the same result. But I just use the slip, so I paint a, a thin coat of slip on there, relatively thin coat, and then I, I'm going to blot that dry. This takes a little time, too, because it's going to take, you know, maybe a half hour or so for that slip, you know, all the water to be absorbed out of the slip so I have some malleable clay instead of slip on the surface. And so I'll just set this aside switch over to a prepared slab of clay right here. And you can see, right along the edge there, you can see where the color is already in the slab of clay. And I did that by just building up layer after layer after layer. I started with that slab of white, and then I put some brown down, and then some green, and then some black, and then coated it with white on the surface. So on this, on this slab of clay with the, all the layers, again, I should reiterate that each layer was dry, blotted dry, before the next layer was added on top of it. So I started with the white that I just rolled out a slab of white clay and I put down, in this case, some yellow, um, in this case some brown on this piece, blotted the first layer dry and then put an, a second coat on top of that now dry layer of color, blotted that dry. Each subsequent layer of color is going to have to be blotted dry because you have to pull that water out so you get down, get the clay back into the malleable state. You can go on for days doing that, but eventually you have to stop, and then you have your slab and it's ready to go. As this one is, it's nice, you can see about the consistency, not too stiff, see it'll stand up so it's about that consistency. And now the carving process, and for carving I just use a normal trimming tool. Um, there are probably any number of things you can use, but for me, this, the trimming tool has been great. And so you don't want to go too far through, just down through the surface. And you can see as you carve through, you're going to get, pick up one of those layers. In this case, I carved down to the, the uh, green layer, carve a little deeper. I think it'll get down into the blue area actually back down to the white, and it's just a matter of carving back through and generating new patterns and new color combinations as you go. Um, you can do it that way. Uh, you, you can do any, any kind of pattern or on the surface or texture on the surface. The only trick is that as you generate the new pattern or the new texture, it's going to be an integral part of this slab of clay. And I've got a piece that's constructed, just so you can see another way to do it. You can take the same tool and just by carving back into this piece, kind of generate a pretty interesting pattern and a pretty interesting texture on the surface of this little cylinder. Okay, the only big difference between what I've got going on here and what I've done here is that in this case, I'm going to generate the pattern on the surface first and then build with that colored surface. And in this case, I built a piece out of the slab before I started carving into it, and then I just carve into the, into the object. And then I would have to finish the, the top. And when it's all said and done, we're going to end up pretty much right there.